Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 27 of Forza Motorsport. We're in this episode. Uh, I'm going to start with here. We're going to show off what we're doing. So, uh, I'm still skipping rivalry face-offs for now. I'll eventually do some of those. But, for this episode, we're going to be going to the um, this thing, and we're going to be doing the Class D Asian Championship. Because there's a car, specifically, that I want to use, that I've wanted to use for a while now, that I have not used yet. And we're going to use it for that. I don't have it bought yet, um, but we're going to go ahead and buy it real quick. It is a DLC car. It was actually a free DLC car, along with the uh, the Altima and the 350Z, the 07 350Z, which is the 07 Nissan Sentra SER Spec V, which is a car that I don't think exists in any other video game except for Forza 3 and maybe 4. I think this is the one car that made it through or made it past this game. I don't think the 350Z did, and I, I know that Ultima didn't. Um, and speaking of Ultima, I don't know why it always shows it as black wheels, or like non-existent wheels in the menu here. <clears throat> but, we were, uh, we're going to use this car. Oh, uh, we have to use it in yellow, obviously. It's not the uh, the first gen Sentra, or not, not first gen, because the first gen Sentra SER was in the early 90s. Uh, but the previous generation, before this one. But... It'll work. Uh, so we're gonna upgrade it just a hair. We're gonna put. We're gonna. Is that body kits? No. Can I get a box? Um. So we're not gonna do any of that. Uh. But we will. We will rock you. We'll get it closer to. Uh, closer to the top of D class real quick. Because some of the other cars I'm gonna be racing is have. Oh, look at that. D400. Perfect. Uh, they're going to have a little bit more horsepower than I am. I like how it says Nissan Sentra 07. Like there was going to be another Nissan Sentra in this game. That's funny. So, let's get started with the regional championships. And we win the Mines Nissan Skyline R34, which is a car I'm not going to use. Uh, but we are going to race in this. Basically, the car needs to be Japanese and also D-Class. So, we got 9 laps at Tsukuba, 9 laps at Maple Valley Short, and 7 laps at Suzuka. So, let's get started. And luckily, we're going to win a lot of money off of these, too. So, you didn't like the point-to-point uh, -point races, fanboy, is what you're saying? I apologize for just now responding to that. I just kind of wanted to get through the beginning of that episode real quick. I liked them, honestly. I especially like the fact that there were night races in those when there wasn't night racing in Forza 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. Oh hell yeah. So we got an FTO fin or starting on pole, which is interesting. I mean, yeah, they they were definitely hard, but I I like the uh the aspect of having a point to point. Which is, you know, they brought back in Forza 3, I think? Forza 3 or 4 uh, brought back the point-to-point -point races. It might have been Forza 4 because, you know, Forza 4 had Fujimi Kaido. Yeah, that's probably your problem, playing it on hard. Oh, this is a short track, by the way. Alright, where are we going? Okay, so the sun's going to be over there. So we'll... We'll take a little, little, little snippy here, real quick. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that, do that, do this. I forget there's like a, a quicker way to uh, zoom in. Also, if I can figure out which button is which. Perfect. This car looks strange from the front. New photo. Two seven. Photo of the driver. Look at that! Look at that texture. Yeah, let's just get the. <laughs> Wait, does it say Forza Motorsport on it? I can't actually tell if that says Forza or not. No, it's like. I don't know what that says actually. It says something Motorsport on it. It's not Forza. Doesn't matter though. This car is strange looking from the front. I'm kind of interested interested in driving one of these in real life. 
Because I, I think, if I remember right, the previous generation SCR was turbocharged, maybe? It might have not been, honestly. I don't remember specifically. Um, but this one definitely isn't, considering it doesn't have a boost gauge of any sort. I love the shipyard tracks. The biggest problem I had with those was random places that had penalties that were, like, you know, on the inside of turns. And it was all pavement, so it didn't make much sense to me. Uh, and also hitting, like, walls that were, uh, I guess jutting out would be the right word to say, the right phrase to say. Like, you know, a corner that was just a little bit further out than the rest of the wall or something. Uh, I smacked into many of those uh, while driving on them. But like, other than that, I liked them. And like I said, night racing was cool. Rhino! Rating with a party. Jesus Christ trauma. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. Welcome, everybody, from Rhino's stream. Hope you had a good stream, Rhino. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So many emotes. So many Yoshers and nuts. And the fucking smile. Welcome, everybody. How, uh... How how is all your uh, all your days going so far? Ruined it. Ruined. Jesus, so many emotes. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Uh, but anyways, uh, welcome everybody to my stream. I'm currently playing through Forza Motorsport 2. Uh, for a let's play for a YouTube thing that I, I do sometimes and uh, I'm currently on episode 27 We're doing the class D Asian championship and As you can see there you can check out my YouTube channel Which has all of the other previous episodes and we'll have all of the future episodes of this game on it as well and uh, Yeah, and other than that I, I play racing games and stuff and things and That's what I do But, <laughs> jeez, popcorn chicken. That sounds pretty good right now. The best thing I have to eat in front of me is a bag of candy corn. And I've already eaten a lot of it. Yes, go get food. Don't you have to work too, Rhino? Or did you come home from work and then stream? I don't remember how your, your shit goes. Okay, you do you do the heckin' night shift. Candy. I mean, I, I love candy corn. I don't know if it's necessarily the best candy, but it's definitely the only candy I've eaten for a long time. And it's the only candy I really wanted to get for uh, from Halloween sales. So therefore, I paid two dollars and eight cents for a bag of candy corn, and then also a bag of. The autumn mix, I think it's called, where it has like the little pumpkins and stuff in it too. Because I was like, ah, I want pumpkins. Give me pumpkins. Candy corn is stuff here. I'll, I'll hold up the bag once I uh, once I finish this race. It's it's just no, it's it's definitely not it's not popcorn. It's candy. It's literally just like straight up sugar. I don't know how to explain it other than sugar that's shaped in the in like a triangle and it's orange and yellow and white. That's about the best way I have to describe uh, candy corn. And a lot of people hate it and a lot of people love it. I mean, it's vaguely shaped like corn. But then you, you know, you, you can set or like stack it up and then it looks like a corn on the cob. And that's why they call it that. It's still not 100% right now. <laughs> As a, uh, a specific letter that's not correct there. Cherry flavor? Cherry flavor is good. Some cherry flavored stuff I can't really take. Um, but like there's a lot of good cherry flavored stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because I think the, the... Thank you. Trauma for the subscription. Holy shit. 
God, that's probably really loud. But thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to... I don't know what uh, to call... Have... Call people. I just called the... Or wait, what did I call it? I don't remember what I called it in my Discord, but you can... Uh, now have a different role in my Discord, if you're in my Discord. This is a necessary volume. Yeah, you got a founder badge, because... I haven't had more than, like, two subscribers. But you can join my Discord there, and, uh, you'll have a special little role. I don't really have anything set up for subs yet, because I didn't have any. What was that noise? Is that Discord? Something just made noise on my computer. Um, but yeah, thank you for, uh, the subscription. I'll, I need to make an emote soon. No emote in general still. I've talked about it for who knows how long. But I still haven't made an emote. And damn it, I need to do that sometime. Maybe tonight after I stop streaming. <laughs> oh, trust me, it'll be it'll be adequate at least, hopefully. I don't even know what I would make an emote based on. I was kind of tempted to make one on my Lexus, but who knows? I like I was about to lap whatever car was in last place there. Didn't even pay attention what car it was, but whatever. Oh yeah, the candy corn. It's this stuff. As I mentioned, I, I currently have a bag, and it looks like. Let me pull one of these out of here. It looks like this. Kind of. There we go. So there's the candy corn. And if you put them all like this, and like the yellow part pointing out, and you put them in a circle, they look like, it looks like a corn on the cob. And I think that's why they call it candy corn. And I'm eating this right now. Because I pulled out of the bag. Hmm. Acura and a sexes. Cool. Yada, yada, yada. Describe taste. Um, sugar. What is even in these, actually? So the ingredients are sugar, corn syrup, Confectioner's glaze, salt, dextrose, gelatin, sesame oil, artificial flavor, honey, yellow, yellow, red. So it's basically sugar and corn syrup. So it tastes like sugar, basically. Uh, so we're going to continue on to the next race real quick. I need to drink now. Ah, because there's so much sugar. Alrighty, on to our second race. Oh, it's probably the, yeah, the Mazda Familia. Okay, the Protégé. <coughs> Mazda Speed Protégé. A car that hasn't made in very many video games. Probably not, uh, it's not very odd that it hasn't made in many video games because it's not really a great car, per se. I kind of want to buy one, though. They, they come up for sale around me every now and then. And they're usually really cheap, and I kind of want to buy one. But then again, I have other cars I want to buy still. Almost got my shit. Must be Protege is the first car. That being a neat first car, honestly. What is what is the holdup though? A minivan. What the Protege? The Protege is not a minivan. I didn't say it was a bad car. It's, it's it's more of an adequate car than anything. It's not like super fast or anything. As as the game shows here, the Familia is the Japanese or the JDM version of the uh, the Protege, though. That's what's in this race. It's in last place, probably still. I know the uh, what was it? I mean, there was a Mazda 5 minivan. Uh, what was the old minivan called? The MPV? I don't know. It's like a Chrysler 300. It does vaguely, I guess. It's a much uh, skinnier Chrysler 300. A 300 that lost some weight. Um, it's possible. I don't really know what other... like. The only mini, the Mazda minivans I can think of are the MPV and the Mazda 5. So I don't know exactly what you're thinking of.
I mean, there was a Protégé 5 that was a wagon, if that's maybe what you're thinking of. God, I... I why do I have my chat in such a terrible spot? I literally have to look all the way to the far right side of my monitor that I'm, uh, that's to my right to see the chat. Let's see, can I do this? Hell yeah, I can. There we go. So now I can see my chat better. I feel like the Mazda Speed Protégé was like the... Uh, like a car that would race against the uh, the older Sentra SER, the round the roundy one with the round brake lights. I feel like those would be uh, very close to each other. I guess. I don't feel like it would have been racing or like put up against. I don't know why I say racing. Uh, put up against like Type R's and crap, but it could have been. Would it have like 180 horsepower? 170. It wasn't a lot. Yeah, the SVT Focus, yeah, and SRT4. That sounds right. But, like, the, the Integra Type R, the Civic Type R? Because, like, we didn't have those in the U.S. So what was it going up? I'm just thinking about what, what it was going up against in the U.S.A. Which type R? I mean, I'm pretty sure all the type R's were made to turn good. <clears throat> Premacy? Don't know what that one is. Is that is that a JDM version of something like the MPV? I don't recognize that name. Ah, lap six of nine. Nice. Do I need to for the five? Ah, makes sense. <clears throat> hmm. Well, judging by how the uh, the protege Mazda Speed is doing in this race series, uh, I don't think it I don't think it achieved its goal very well. Because this is obviously a very realistic simulation of real life. Well, the Mazda Speed Six was made sense because it was actually really close stats wise to the uh, to Evos. Like it had a little under 300 horsepower, all wheel drive, six speed manual, turbocharged. I want a Mazda Speed Six. But, like, I've heard they're not great for reliability, and they're also kind of expensive still. Like, um, an okay one is, like, five grand. There's a bunch for sale near me, usually. They're just usually either way above my price range, or they're 220,000 miles. And that's not what I want. <clears throat> Name German. Huh. Interesting. All I know about the Mazda 5 was that you could get in manual transmission, and I think that's cool. Yeah, because that was the only car that engine was put in, right? And it was all pretty, like, new technology that they used in it. Oh, I guess, yeah, it would, would have been using the Speed 3. Did it have more horsepower in the uh, Speed 6, though? Wasn't it like 280, 290, and the Speed 3 had 260? Something like that. <clears throat> yeah, 300 horsepower in a front wheel drive car is not uh, the optimal idea. Although the Civic Type R does it pretty well, but it has a really good differential, I think, in the front. That definitely helps out with that. I also haven't, speaking of like hot hatches and crap, I haven't heard much about, uh, is that the, is that the, is that the protege? Am I going to laugh the protege? I hope I do. I think it is. Uh, I haven't heard anything more about like reliability issues on the, the Focus RS, the new Focus RS. I'm guessing they figured that out and they're actually okay other than their head gaskets going out sometimes. It is the protege. Uh, I'm not going to pass it. 
Son of a bitch. <clears throat> oh, 6 speed GT in the rarest trim and color. Was the Grand Touring the rare trim? Wasn't it? Because that was like the fancier one. Excuse. I want to drive a Speed 3. I've never driven one. I got to drive a Speed 6 across the parking lot at the car dealership I worked at once, and that was the only Mazda Speed I'd ever driven. Yeah. I like to drive a Speed 6 and a Speed 3 on the road. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one in white. That is that is something. 60 made for the North American market. Jeez. That makes my uh my one of five hundred Chrysler TC by Maserati look common. Although it has to be less than one of five hundred, because there were some black five or black sixteen valves, there were some white sixteen valves, I think. Maybe a red one or two. So maybe like three hundred in yellow. Two white speed sixes local. Huh. I think the one the one that we had at the dealership was red, or like a maroon color. I feel like that was a common color, because I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of them in that color. These are some long races, by the way. Longer than all the races I've done up to this point, pretty much. But I don't care. Get to use the Sentra SER more. Get to use an interesting car more. You have an orange? Can't say I've ever seen an orange one. Maybe copper? I feel like I've seen one in copper. Or at least one. I really don't know. I haven't really researched them as that, that, enough to know what I have seen what I haven't seen. <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted to look at Craigslist now. Like my local Craigslist and see what's on there for Speed 6s. I'm sure there's there's probably at least one out there. If I had to guess, there's probably at least one orange one out there. <clears throat> I feel like orange isn't the worst color people could pick. Or maybe it is, but I would still consider an orange one, honestly. Like a used orange one. Mazda Speed Miata. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Orange Miatas. Because <clears throat> I do believe I've seen those, but I've seen you know a shitload of silver Mazda Speed Miatas. 99% of the time, if a Mazda Speed Miata comes up for sale, it's a it's silver. At least around here. Although I have, I think I have seen a couple of red ones. Never the bright ass blue that the uh, one in this game is, or starts out with. <clears throat> Most common color is black, huh? I've seen, I've just seen a shitload of silver ones, so I don't know. Silver and red is what comes to mind. Oh, for the sixes, okay. So, yeah, the bl I've seen black ones for sure, and I'm assuming the red is probably the same red that the one that we had at the dealership was. Speaking of that car, I was about to say, like, wow, I don't even know of a game that has a Speed 6, but then I remembered that literally was playing Gran Turismo 4 and got a reward car that was a Mazda Speed 6. I've seen white ones too, yeah. I've seen a lot of white ones. 
Or at least one. Two, maybe. I don't know. Weren't you saying that white was a rare color? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. Ah! I really don't know what's going on. Yeah, that was the problem with the one that was at the dealership. Uh, it was definitely uh, well used. I don't remember how many miles it had on it, but there were door like dings all over that thing on the sides. Not hail damage for sure. Um, just like you know, beat up, and then the headlights were. I remember the headlights were foggy as hell. I think one was even broken. Brake lights were one of the brake light lenses was wasn't broken for sure. So, yeah, it was not a not a good candidate. And I, <laughs> if I remember right, it didn't have any, like... Well, the oil wasn't showing up on the dipstick whenever we sold it to the guy. Whenever he was coming to pick up the car. Um, so, we were, the uh, the general manager was adding oil as the guy was driving to our, the dealership to pick it up. Polestar is in Volvo? That's the only Polestar I know. Alright, makes sense. I didn't even know Polestar was a thing back then, honestly. Although I don't know much about Volvos other than, like, 240s and stuff. And S60s. I do like the S60Rs. If I had the chance to own a Volvo, it'd probably be either a 245 or a 242 or a, an S60R. Those are, like, my favorites. Volvo-wise. Yay, quality options. That's good. And welcome back, Reflexer. S50R? Was there an S50? I remember S40 and S60. Now, I know the S60R just automatically came in all-wheel drive. So, I don't know. I just think the shifter's cool on those because uh, it's not just like a normal shift boot. Like, it just has a flat piece that goes at the bottom of the shifter, and it like it just stays flat the entire time, no matter where the shifter is. I don't know. It's interesting. But anyways, there's the end of that race. <coughs> Dying. And that will conclude, I believe. Or no, will it? Yeah, that was the last race. Yeah, that sounds about right. Like, the S60 that's in this game. S60R. Which is the reason I know of the S60R, because of these early Forza games. Alrighty, so we got the 2002 Nissan Mine Skyline R34 GTR. We finished first. And we got 16,500 credits for winning. And there it is, 591 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. So, that will conclude this here episode of Forza 2. I'm not going to stop streaming. I'm just ending the episode for YouTube. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching on YouTube. And I will see you in the next episode.